you? How are you getting on today? Are you having a wonderful day? Welcome along to the Risha and Shaban show. New name what? New name who this? My name was overruled, but it's probably not very PC for um, some of the viewers right now. Yeah. We'll get there. You're a <clears throat> sticky point. Yeah. Um, Risha and Shaban, how did we come up with such a... An exciting name, name for the show. Mm -hmm. well, probably you're wondering. We've mum really and dad. To... Mum and dad were actually off their trees when they <laughs> named us. <laughs> the amount of people say, so. Where's, where'd the name Shaban come from? I'm like, I, I don't know because it's Irish, but I've just been in Ireland cast at the weekend. Still another, no. another Shaban not present. Mm -hmm. Neither another Risha. There's a band called Shebeen. They sing like That's Irish true. songs and stuff. That's just true. Um, and my name, do you know what I was? From a, a science fiction book. Yes, dad said Tried that. to get the name of the book. Don't know it. Googled it. <laughs> Nothing exists, so, yeah. It's funny because Dad is still struggling to spell my name, so maybe he read that completely incorrectly. Anyway. It would make sense. But it's nice to have unique names as you get older in school. Mm -hmm. It was a bit of a challenge, I will be honest. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please to both of the channels. Subscribe, Rue. Subscribe, Shebs. Get in the comments. It's good to have you with us tonight. We've got lots to talk about. want to talk about uh, Aston Villa, Manchester United, the whole cup situation. want to speak about plastic surgery. Been reading a report. Okay. And um, a number of things we have to discuss including a bit of Ireland action because you're going to play Wales. Right. Lots of love heading Wales as we. Okay. Lots of people asking for the Welsh to get some yeah. recognition here because they're looking for a new manager. Well, the Celts have got to stick together. That's and, true. Um, yeah. We'll get on that. We'll go on that in a minute. How have you been? What's been happening in your world? Oh, it's been a busy, busy couple of weeks since I've last uh, spoke to you here in the bedroom. H spare bedroom. Still under construction, as you can yeah. see, but we've brought Lena McGill, also known as Simone McGill, I was like, oh my God, when did you get Lena McGill's top? And you were like, it's Sai McGill. And I was like, yep. oh, panicked. It's Sai. And um, they'll probably fall down because already have. Uh, short corner, it was actually Sai that fell down earlier. But um, she can't last 90 minutes, so it's no surprise. <laughs> and we've so got my good old G, Kenza Daly. Yeah. Um, but we'll get more tops all the way. And when's this getting done? Hopefully by March, the yeah. wall will be up and running. Emma from ADS is on it. So okay. what we're thinking, by the way, in case you're interested, is we've got kind of panels that are going to come along like to kind of this height, about a metre high, like a wood panel wall. And I'm kind of going for like a khaki green. You've not had a lot of say in this because you're never here. Okay. She treats this place like a hotel. She just rocks up whenever she likes. And then we're going to kind of get the Rusha and Shaban show wallpaper vibe. So we're going to have some Irish connotations yes. in there, some Scottish. And some football love, mm -hmm. of course. So. Some big old boobies. Boobies, maybe we'll be in there too, because okay. we don't have any of those. Yes. Well, for mine look okay in this mm -hmm. dress. They actually do. They actually yeah, look they all right. They get bigger. Yes, yeah. I'm getting the weight. Nice. Not like my on yourself stones in a bin bag mm -hmm. that I used to rock before. Um, I was in uh, Ireland at the weekend. You were. You were at the Hurstport Awards night. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. Really nice night. Um, by the way. I know every country has some like excellent talent, right? Yes. But Ireland is off the charts. Yeah. See, for like a small country, mm -hmm. that sounds condescending. It's not like their their no, mentality it's a, it's a, for it's sport. A tiny, it's a tiny, tiny country in terms of size. Yeah. But the the quality within the country is phenomenal. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Um, some of the the girls from the rugby sevens, outstanding. Yep. A uh, young swimmer who's going to the Olympics. Um, unbelievable. Like breaking records, you know, um, you were up for sports personality. Sarah Lavin won that. Yeah. Um, Congratulations, Sarah. Yeah. Congratulations to all the winners. Everybody who won, exactly. Um, but just seeing the amount of talent, but her story was particularly incredible. Yeah. Because she lost her husband. She's a, a hurdle a runner, hurdle jumper. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, she lost her husband last year and come back even stronger. And started to like beat her own records. Mm -hmm. So I mean, an incredible night. So well done to our sport for putting on such a good event. It was a shame you weren't there. It was good. Uh, what's new with you? How was the Birmingham game? Birmingham game. Oh, I was speaking loads about that the other day, but here I am speaking about it again. Um, sorry. Yeah, look. Well, I'm so sorry for asking about the football. Um, look, let me speak. Um, what will I say on the game? It's probably the most chance if we we've actually created, um, but we couldn't score. And Birmingham obviously scored an early goal. Didn't realise it was five minutes in, but it was five minutes in. Cho scored. Cho's lovely. She used to be at West Ham, so happy for her. Such a nice girl. Sweet, sweet girl. Um, so they played well, but Birmingham right now are just... I wouldn't say they're playing great football, but they're winning games. 
And in the championship, that's what you've got to do. Yeah. I mean, we're sitting tenth. We're honky tonk. Cast they look but like they're going up. I think they will actually go up. I like to, you know, give them digs here and there because I know loads of them. But um, I'm I'm confident that they've got enough um, quality and experience within their team that they will go up. So I hope they do. And now they're going to get the backing and stuff. So mm -hmm. it's been a long time coming. So. But positives to London City, by the way, because to only concede one goal, you were in the game right till the end. Okay, it didn't go your way. Okay, it's a tough time in the championship. Yeah. We know it's a relentless league. But um, are you confident we can get up there? I think if we're being realistic where we are right now, we need to get points on the board. Exactly. We're in a relegation battle. Like, there's no hiding from it. Table doesn't lie. So I don't know how many games we've got left, eight or nine games. So we're going to need to try and pick points up somehow and hopefully just get out of the relegation battle. If we could finish mid-table... That would be probably an outstanding achievement for where we are right now. But I think right now the aim is to survive. Mm -hmm. Two big games coming up. We've got cup games. Yeah, those cup games are massive. Yep. Uh, do you know what? Fair play to London City. They're in the quarterfinals yeah. of the cup. I mean, huge ties, absolute huge ties um, going up against WSL sides. But how you regroup the amount of games in the short space of times, it'll be something like three games in seven days. Yeah, it's a quick turnaround. We've just had that there that week. Um, obviously, this week's a bit better, so a um, few of the girls get an extra day off to recover and stuff. Uh, I was in because I can't be trusted to recover myself. But it was nice to go in, just lie there, get a massage, <sighs> have some protein, you. went to the gym, home, up the road. Yeah, asking about so, the gym, are you? you've been going. Well. What have you been doing, eating the dumbbells? <laughs> actually went to the gym so i signed up right to the yep. one next door to work at london bridge because i'm in there every day I start at four yeah. so i'm like when i come out i'm knackered so i just go straight to bed then i try and wake up and go for a run try and run my arse around st albans it's yeah. hard to watch but i'm like if i join the gym come out of work when i'm awake and lively go straight to the gym then it's done but anyway i joined on the third of january but i went yesterday good so better late than never it was a huge step um, there's a guy there called Rocky who's going to give me a PT class to get it as a joining on thing nice. um, and I've got doms so I feel like I've done something I'm going to be fit I'm going to get a six pack are you? I'm going to get little toned arms my arms are getting like not cellulite just like yuck you just need to use them that's it do you know when I was like really fit when the kids were young uh, and I was running all the time because you were at the house then somebody could watch the baby I could go for the babies there was two of them mm. I could go for a run but also Brooks was in my arms the whole time yeah. wasn't he and I actually think I had really good arms and then if you don't use it Cass you lose, lose it. it am I right mm -hmm. um, anyway it was good to be back in the gym I'm probably going to fall off the wagon in about two days anyway um, how's my girl Lucy Quinn she's good she's good she brought um, she brought the bands yesterday we were doing filming Life's a Pitch that'll be out tomorrow um, so I was actually very chill, very reserved yesterday, behaving, laying low, mm -hmm. uh, and she gave me a good few giggles. So yeah, everyone tune in for that tomorrow. And um, are we allowed to see who the guests are? I don't really know. No, not yet. There'll be a teaser out later, so we'll not say anything just in case. Okay, fine. Should be fun. Though? I mean, they're pretty boring to be honest. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to this one. Uh, hi to everyone in the comments. Should I do your ones first? Hi to everyone in the comments. Live, laugh, love, Rusha, love that. <laughs> um, what else? Sorry, I'm panicking now because oh you've made me God, do that. Oh my you've got to read your comments. Look at the state of you. Oh, it's panic. there's some comments in here. People wanting me to bite and nibble, but I'm a big person. Don't take that chunk, Don't guys. take the bait. You're off it. Don't You're being take healthy. The but by the way, I wonder, do you know what I'd like to do actually? I'd like to do a poll. I might do it after this on Instagram. And like just do like the age ranges of people that hate me mm. and what um if they're like male, female or trees or don't identify as anything. I don't mm -hmm, know. Mm -hmm. Um so we'll get that up and I want to just get a gauge of yeah, what what are the age ranges? I'm mm -hmm. like, is this like twelve and fourteen year old TikTokers that hate me? Mm. Um are these people just snooze and boil? Or do they have personalities like a drip? No, you get a tap. Oh, it's no, just like a wee drip. I've actually heard drip. it's um drip. that's what some people are like these days. I've heard it's your mum. Who's actually created a load of accounts. Is it? Because she cannot go you. Anymore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so they go, that's the truth. Uh, hi to Kelly. She said, I've ordered an Indian. I ain't cooking. Uh, I'm up at two o'clock in Australia from this. Hannah wow. Rafiq. Unbelievable. Shabam, where is your footy shirt in the background? Alex, I'm too good looking to play football. What can I say? Never had a shirt. Um, well, the predictions for the Arsenal match. I am going to say already. 2-0 Arsenal. 2-0 London uh -huh. 
Fair I'm getting excuses in already. I don't even know if I'll be playing because... Well, Stop I've got to manage. What do you mean? mean? I've got to manage my Achilles. It's, it's a midweek game. I didn't, I've not played any midweek games, so I could be rested. So people that are going for the drama, there will be no drama. And we've got to respect that Arsenal are levels above us. Everyone knows that. They've got a team full of fantastic players and lovely, to, lovely I mean, it's going to be it's going to be a tough game. Yeah, we will we'll see be. that. And the Liverpool game, Liverpool's going to be good. Yeah. Um, but you'll get to see the, like, the difference in levels of the WSL. Championship, yeah. but it's a cup game. Anything can happen. Um, Liverpool playing well, but yeah, it's yeah. going to it's going to be good. Don't be worry nice. about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, hi to Peter. Thank you very and much. Sorry. Can I get some commission on the tickets? <laughs> no. I'm going to email London City <laughs> tomorrow morning asking. <laughs> Why do you seem to think you're bringing an audience? Because there will be people are signing up They're to here me to do me. something. Oh, Grisha can't be trusted. Peter Harris, thank you for um, uh, Wales Women Football. So lovely to see that you remember the messages. Yes, Peter, I do remember you. Wales Women Supporters Club travel everywhere with the girls. See you in Dublin. You are great ambassadors. See, Peter's nice. Thanks, Peter. Peter's nice. Thank you very much. Lots of nice people here. Good to be with you. Um, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Oh, I see one. Rue and Viv swap shirts. That's a great shout. I'm going to need to message her. We ain't get, uh -huh. Even though this is this is temporary, I actually would really love a Viv shirt. Yeah. I'd She'll be nice. Shirt, uh -huh. yeah. I'll tell her, I'll give her a kiss. She'll be like, oh, fine. Whatever. <laughs> so, be fine. Do you think yeah. she'd like to kiss me? Maybe. No, I don't no. think so. Okay, no. Fine. Beth might knock me out. Take mm. her fist and ram it right through my face. Imagine something like that happens. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, not Bev and uh, Bev Bar uh, Bev Barger. What a story that'd be! I love that. Um, what can we talk about? Do you want to talk about Republic of Ireland against Wales now that that's been announced? Oh, that's well, yeah. Um, I can't remember the date. Sometime in February. Um, you are worse than a man down. Let me get. And it's date. in Tala. It's in Dublin. So hopefully we'll sell out Tala, get the crowd there, and um, keep progressing under Ireland. Um, obviously we don't know what the team will be yet. We don't know the squad. So still a few weeks away. So. There's competition to get in the squad, so we'll see how it goes. Fingers crossed, Cass. I actually saw um, a brilliant video of you on TikTok from when we were sitting here way before the World Cup, way right. before the World Cup, and you were like, hopefully, you know, get in the squad, and then there's the reserves list, so if you can make the reserves list, and then you were in the squad. Yeah. And I was like, it's amazing how... Well, that, aye, you always want to, you don't want to be like, oh, I'm going, because you're never guaranteed that. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I was told before I wasn't even playing in the World Cup, so, yeah. you know, got to use that motivation and all that. Absolutely. That's the thing. Um, the 27th, by the way, of February is the Wales game uh, in Dublin. But when you do get knockbacks, yes. I think, see, see in life now, like we keep having mm -hmm. these conversations about, oh, she gets so much criticism mm -hmm. for this and she gets criticism for that. And, you know... Um, it's like people can't handle criticism anymore. Yeah. But criticism's a good thing because if you take it the right way, it can make you better. You mm -hmm. know, it can fuel you. Yeah. Like some people take it as like such a dagger to the heart. Mm -hmm. And then you can go on the crusade to go against the person who maybe criticised you. But actually, if you take it the right way, mm -hmm. unless it's abuse and it's needless kind yeah. of thing, but abuse is good for you. Constructive criticism is good for you. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. When you said knockbacks, I thought you meant about birds. All the knockbacks I've been getting recently You've had like a that. Lot of There's been a fair few. Even though um, she rocked up here two days later. What? Um, anyway, as I went <laughs> under. Where the were bus. we going with that? <laughs> we were going with yeah, constructive criticism is good. Are you all right? Constructive criticism is good. But this generation, I think, struggle with it. I think now everything's very fluffy and you have to be spoken to. It's everything's arm around the shoulder, but you're allowed to, you know, give an opinion. I think it's hard now. So I'm obviously, I'm like the oldest player in the team now. Ancient, 33, on my way out, whatever. Youngest player in the team's probably 16, 17 from the academy that come up and train. But you would see, like, I've seen it now through the years. Like, it's, you have to speak to people so differently. I can't be like, Cass, that's pure pish, track back. Because I'd lose you. Mm. So I need to be like, yeah, next one, track back. So you're even talking about on a football it's, field, it's a different, mm -hmm. it's a different, this is So funny. there's such a mix there with the, like, the generations. So like the, the older people can take it because we've been so used to it and the younger ones coming through really can't take it. Mm. They'll be like, yeah, I can, I can. And then next minute they're crying under the, the changing room bench. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You're like, right. Yeah. Um, but obviously you need to do but, what's but, best. But obviously no. as well, Cass, that's, that's not their fault because that's the generation they've yeah. come into. It's like a society mm -hmm. change. I feel sorry now for some managers because you actually can't see anything. They're probably like you're walking on eggshells the whole time. I have been hammered as a player. Like I've been, oh, 
the stories that I can go into, I won't go into right now because this is live and I'll probably get into trouble and somebody will start crying. <laughs> You're but, the one who should be crying. You, it was happened to you. Aye, I know, but too many wet wipes in this world. So, <laughs> aye, you, you, people can't say anything now because it's like you're always... You could be reported. You could have said something. You could have... Everything has to be done right and everything's got to be through the right channels. You've always got to have someone there. And things without can without get twi- naming names mm. or times, what's the worst thing a manager has said to you? Uh, I don't know off the top of my head. I've probably got a few belters. Like I've had a few belters. Um, I feel like if I say stuff, it'll just be obvious. So I don't want to throw people under the bus. Nice like that. I remember you did get called fat, like actual fat once. Yeah, um, I got told I was fat, can't move about the pitch. <laughs> um, too fat to move about the pitch. Um, I was mum again. So you won't be back in. My mum was one of them. Uh-huh. <laughs> and weirdly, actually, my mum was like, didn't get it. And now she said to me actually recently, she's like, oh God, when I look back at the pictures and I remember that time when that happened to you and I remember being like, oh no, you're fine. And now I look back and I think, God, you were huge. But to be fair, you do And she keeps at- telling me to get my teeth fixed anytime <laughs> I see them. <laughs> I mean, she's just trying to be nice because mm. you've only got one set of teeth. So I actually think because you've got the, the underbite. Yeah. You're a mentor of hats, a retainer. Why is yours looking like that? No, I'm making fun of yours. Ah, yeah, but look at yours. I know, fine. Mm. That fight's fine because yeah. I got them done in Visiline. Yeah. But yours still go like that. I've got a back brace on film, but I think I got a, what's the ones, a mo- what's the big one taken out? A molar. A molar? Was it a molar? Your wisdom. Wisdom, that's the one. Wisdom Makes sense. Too. That's why I'm, mm. uh, got a wisdom out and then I think they moved. So that's why I look like a dug. <laughs> Who's it? Um, your friend's dog who does is a little pug. Um, Zai. Zai's Zai, dog. Zai, that's Zai's uh-huh. dog. That's a funny looking Paddy looks like he's been smacked with a spade, honestly. <laughs> She'll see this and start crying, but he does. And anyone out there that says <laughs> pugs are Paddy? good looking. Aye, Paddy oh, the pug. That's cute. Pugs aren't good looking. <laughs> I love dogs. I love all animals, but pugs, you can't say they're good looking. I would love one. <laughs> I would be nice to it. I love all animals, but they are butters, man. Show me your best pug face. That's what they're like. <laughs> 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 Glad we got there. Um, get that. That's okay, man. I need to get them fixed. I need to get them you fixed. Need to get your face sorted mm-hmm. ASAP. Um, what was I going to say on the subject, by the way, of um, like managers not being able to do much these days? Marcus Rashford. Uh-huh. I was just talking you through the story because you you don't listen to the radio or, or read the yeah. news, but he's been out in Belfast. Didn't show up to training because he ended up calling in sick. Mm-hmm. Pictures from Belfast. This barmaid spoken out. She served them tequila slammers, apparently for a 12-hour bender. Mm-hmm. There's two sides to every story, but Man United have said they've dealt with it internally. The case is closed. He's going to be available for the next game. He's reported they'll be in fine two weeks' wages. But a lot of people are saying how Eric Ten Hag is losing the dressing room and the yeah. amount of players that, you know, have been in exile maybe under Ten Hag or maybe don't respond to, like, the ruler of the Iron Fist yeah. kind of thing. But... It is the new era, and it's like Fergie even. Like, you go back yeah. to the best manager that has ever been at Manchester United. Maybe the best manager ever, right? He still managed to have one one approach with players, albeit you wouldn't mess with them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So how do you get that right? If you were a manager, how do you manage to get that tone spot on? It's a tough one, but it's got to be a balance. I don't think you can be at somebody all the time just hammering them, because then you probably will lose them. You've got to still give people a bit of praise a bit of love now and then. I was listening to Scott McTominay uh, podcast on the high performance. Good. Good lad. Sounds really just like a nice guy. And he was saying like even that, that coming through the academy and the ranks at United, like there was, he would have been okay with that. He would have got like slaughtered. Mm. But he was just like, oh, I'm at United. It's for a reason. It. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it's like, but I get now, it's like now, now things are changing. So it's got to be a balance. Yeah. But it's tough. It's hard to get right. But, there's no point in just slaughtering somebody because you'll lose them. So Yeah, and it's not nice mm-hmm. to be personal or make somebody feel really sad. Um, in the Champions League, by what the about, way. Sorry, what about Marcus, you were saying? What about that? So he's been he's been done. So he's the thing is, Rush, I think maybe there's something else going on there, right? Yeah. Because last season, look at Marcus Rashford's form, right? This season, you look at the, like Jaden Sancho, his situation. You look at Harry Maguire's mm. his situation. Rafa Varane, his situation. It feels like there's been a number of moments where the manager has lost players. Right. Right. But now we're seeing Rashford 
pictured in clubs, mm. knowing that he's got training the next day. Yeah. Something is off if you're making that decision. And you can't judge people because you do not know what goes on behind closed doors. But at the same time, he's a 26-year-old lad. He's been there. Can you relate to that when you're playing football? At, for yeah. Man, cast 320 <sighs> grand a week. I know, but, but people bring the money in. The, money's, the money doesn't make you happy. And because you earn something, it doesn't mean that you... Do you know what I mean? You're going to make mistakes. You're going to get it wrong. Obviously, something's going on where he's kind of went, sack this. And do you know what? As players, a lot of us have done it. I've done it more than one time. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? But you've got to then just reflect. Hold your hands up. Apologise to your teammates. And do you know what? Nine times out of ten, that's it. It's done. Nobody really cares. It's done. You move forward. So I'm sure he'll be going in and, and doing that. Um, but hopefully everything's okay with him. Hopefully mentally everything's okay. And he can get himself into a better place and enjoy the game again and yeah get back to scoring goals yeah um, no that'd be good to see by the way on the subject of managers uh, who does seem to do the one-to-one -one thing because she's spoken about it a lot is Emma Hayes mm. um, and how she deals with players individually you can't if somebody's late once she can't treat them the way you would treat late coming if they've been stuck behind an accident that yeah. somebody may have died in like you know th there is proper situations where you have to treat people one-to-one -one. Um, but anyway Chelsea are playing tonight against Paris if you want a score Oh, it's, they're nearly half an hour in, eh? 25 minutes in. Don't actually know what the score is. Might it's 1-0 Chelsea. 1-0 Chelsea. Um, this game's irrelevant to Chelsea, isn't it? They're already safe through Paris, I think, have to win and rely on another result. But um, yeah, Frank I'm, I'm happy scored. for Chelsea. Um, it's good to see them doing well. Um, and obviously we spoke about the fairy tale for Emma Hayes, so that would be that'd be lovely send-off, wouldn't it? Can't believe it, by the way, if she goes on to win the Champions League on her last season and win the league. Three points clear at the minute, Cass. I mean, it's still tight. There are so many big games to come up, but um, they're in a nice position. So mm. good luck to the, them. The new striker as well, Ramirez. Yeah, she's a big handful, man. Yeah. Um, yeah. God, I'll be in trouble for this again. But yeah, we played them, obviously, in that game that was The blank doors. Um, was it called she off? She will, yeah. She will bully people. She will bully people and yeah. get in their heads. But... Um, It'll be interesting to see how she does for Chelsea, like, but I'm sure Emma Hayes is clued in, knows what she's wanting in. Um, so she's going to ruffle a few fellers in this WSL. I have to say, she looked outstanding in the World Cup. Um, speaking about managers, uh, somebody keen to know your thoughts on Mark Skinner, Bex Rogers. So Man United, a big win at the weekend, two goals for Kate Paris. Um, good to see her yeah, hitting yeah. a bit of mm. form, you know. Um, but United... Right, they're not where they want to be in the table. Okay, they've lost Russo. Okay, there's a chance that Mary Earps might be on her way out too. But did you see the situation with the cup? So Right. Right, so do you know how this works? Ish. Go try and explain it to me. Villa fielded a player that shouldn't have played because they were already cup-tied. And now Villa are still going through... But United aren't going through. And who's going through? Sunderland. Sunderland are going through. Because Sunderland then were given the three points, which meant United's place as runner-up yep. was knocked because then Sunderland mm -hmm. got the more points, which means United mm -hmm. dropped out. So there's a lot of backlash on this. But as like some people are saying here, Ale, um, what, but the fact that they fielded an ineligible player to be docked three points and still go through... Whereas Manchester United didn't do anything wrong in this situation, yet they've been affected. Right, but Villa have been docked the three points for that game and still got enough points to go up. So they've done their job. But because they, made the they were docked three points, uh -huh. those three points went to Sunderland. United uh, yeah. have no control over that situation. Okay, but United should have won more games. I don't think Villa should be out of the tournament for that. I really don't think they should be. I don't get that. What? They messed up one game and did Noel came on as a sub. It doesn't matter. They were already winning. Noel, I didn't. I saw Noel really, Moritz play in that uh -huh. competition in December look, for Arsenal. End of the day, it's been an absolute shit show what's been on. I don't know how it's happened, and I'm sure Villa have gone, oh my God, how have we done that? And I'm sure there was no malice behind it. Um, who was it they were playing? Who were they playing? They were playing Sunderland. They were playing Sunderland. What was the game? 7 0, 6 0? Ah, uh, Villa Sunderland. Aye, so like this, it's not affected the result. It's not as though Noel came on and scored six goals. So I don't know what everyone's crying about. Villa have done their job in the Quint Cup. And they got enough points. I get Man United will feel hard done by, but the, the end of the day, Villa have been punished for that game. Camden, the points have gone in your so I don't get why, yeah, but but I, don't, I don't get why what people. Yeah, it's one of those ones. End of. Mm. End of. Okay. Rue looks ginger again. And what's wrong with that is the light. <laughs> 
think it's your crimson top. Maybe then. it's the top reflecting in the light. Yeah. You've been shopping, haven't you? Oh well. Have you been shopping? Is that new? Yeah, uh, yeah. Me and Lou, neighbour Lou, went up to um, up to town the other day. There's a shop closing down, so stocked up on a few bits. By the way, it makes me so sad that the high street is on its ours. Another shop gone. That's because everyone's online. But I did enjoy going in. Well Got done, a few treats. Hmm. True. <laughs> <laughs> But Continue. seriously, I walk up mm. the town and shops are just empty. It's a bit ghost townish. I don't, I don't like it. St Albans is dead. See, people like give it. Oh, St Albans is such a beautiful place. I'm like, it's action. Take that back. There's not much going on. There's a cathedral. A few coffee shops are all right. What's um, wrong with you? But there's nothing really going on. You go in, you walk in. I walk into Boots, get toiletries, and leave. You are turning into a privileged little no, spoiled brat. It's overpriced. It's dead. End of. That is. Would you know what? Pack your bags. Sling your hook. I am living in the slums up here. The pits <laughs> up here. Anytime I go for a shower, it's there's dinosaurs in the bathtub. My boys. There's toothpaste. Jamie's, to, there's, 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 Jamie's, Jamie's got his uh, Indoraptors mm-hmm, in the bath again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I'm um, in the pits. Rachel Daly shirt to be put up on your wall, Rue. Then you can sing the Daily chant. I will. I'm trying to get. Um, I'm going to get Rach. Try and get her on. 90 men with me and Lucy. <sighs> um, and I want to get Ken's on it too. I want to do a double one with them. So I'm going to chase them up if Ken's Adali actually ever replies to me. So she's in my bad book. What, she's already put you in the old archive? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. That sucks. Mm-hmm. That sucks. Uh, come on to Ilfe Movi. Uh, what does that mean? Uh, it's grey outside, I think. Ilfe Movi. Ilfe Movi. Bonsoir. Je m'appelle Shiban. Je habite à Londres. Uh, c'est une Dolbans. England. Uh, Je, um, j'habite à ma sœur. Sister. I live in my sister. I live with my sister. I live in my sister. You just said I live in my sister. Well, you'd right, like that, wouldn't you? French. You'd like that. I would not. You would like that. Mm. Creep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> can you tell Rue that she's pulled me from some dark places and <gasps> brings me happiness every single day? Jess Farr. Jess, that's lovely. That's really Thank really you, nice. Jess. Thanks for that. I'm glad I don't make everyone sad. By the way, people yeah. That, that's lovely. Jess, it's nice. Is it, do you know what, Cass? What we need to do is reply to the nice people. Focus on the nice people because some people send some lovely comments and nice things to say. Uh, Alex saying get Maz on the show too. Maz is my crush. I want to get Mayumi on, but separately also. I want to get her on, but I don't know if I want Mayumi on this one. Or Why? 90 Min. Why? Because I want to spice it up. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Uh-huh. We can do one. <laughs> <Also, laughs> Run, Maz. <laughs> um, what if, what if uh, you kiss Maz and then Ken's mm-hmm. an object? Yeah, but I want to get, listen, I want to get Maz on this because Maz is doing her YouTube channel too. Yes. So everyone, yes, everyone that's watching, go please like, subscribe, subscribe, and follow my Umi Pacheco's YouTube page, please. Um, she's a good girl, good girl. So I do like Maz. We met her in Oz, didn't we? Where? Oz. Oh yeah, that's right. She's in Australia. She's got lovely hair. Um, I need to actually go up and meet them, and she can cook me dinner, and we can catch up. Um, what do you think of the season that Nikita Paris is having? A lot of people saying she's on fire. It's good to see her bouncing back. I think maybe she she wasn't maybe in the top of her game last season, but it happens. Players have dips. Uh, a lot of competition at United, but she seems to maybe be thriving under that, and she's back in, banging in the goals. So good to see. Will she get another call up to the England squad? Great, great stuff. Um, bad news, by the way. What's happened? Jill Road. Uh, I know, I know. ACL. I mean, another one. There's yeah. been loads again of late. And then, do you know, some somebody actually, uh, a Swedish woman had replied to Twitter the other day and I was like, surely, I mean, surely, we're a step closer to finding out why these ACLs are so prevalent in the women's game. And she was like, they've always been, like, they've always been huge in women's football. It's just now it happens, yeah. you know, the media speculation mm. is there, the media's on it. It's not speculation, she has done her ACL. But then everybody talks about it more where it's, it's actually been happening for such a long yeah. time. Now look at the amount of senior players who've played with who have done two ACLs. Two, three. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, it's not just, it's not a new thing. It's just now that the women's game is in the public eye and there's a lot of attention in spotlight now. So it's been highlighted more. Mm-hmm. Uh, but now it's, yeah, it's really time to find some answers. But yeah, speedy recovery to gel. Um, on that, it was nice to see then Viv back. Viv and Beth both back. Um, nice to see Viv scoring again. Leah back. Um, Leah, Leah back, back, sorry. Yeah. yeah. Was there someone else back? Leah uh, Laura Vaughan just been right back, might running, be soon. training, yeah, all yeah. that. So, um, yeah, but it's good to see them coming back from it and sort of hitting the ground running because it's obviously it's a tough injury. It's, it's a long process. 
it's mentally draining. You're in the gym constantly. It's a tough place to be. I know what it's like. Um, you do not. Uh, but yeah, hopefully, hopefully we start getting answers soon and there's changes in the calendar schedule and yeah, there's a lot of work that needs to go in it. What do you think it is? It's not just one thing. I think it's an accumulation of things. Fixtures, scheduling, demands, um, female body shapes. Um, yeah, there's, there's uh, you're asking me. I've not got a scoop to do. Do you know what? I spoke about Dr. Emma Thompson before, haven't I? ACL. She wrote a book, the ACL Body Bible, Female Body Bible, she wrote. Mm-hmm. Um, but she had a really interesting take that I've started to see more about that when women play football or train or do certain exercises, they're doing it exactly the way it's been set out for mostly men yeah. to do. But it's obviously the hip to the knee angle is so different yeah. for women because you've got childbearing hips. So actually maybe the knee's not designed to do movement like that. And then on certain days you're not as reactive maybe because you're on or you've got your period. Or you're yeah, I don't lethargic. think it is when you're on your period. I think it's maybe before is when you're more likely. Yeah. There's all this study See, and stuff going on. Period, I'm walking into walls and all that. I'm so that's shit, glasses. Yeah. We are more clumsy, aren't we? So therefore it's like your brain's not told, your the knee's not sent the signal to your brain quick, quick enough to react and it's like... Pfft. Yeah. I think there's so much, so much to it, but... Um, We'll get there. We'll get there. Do you know what ACL anterior cruciate is? Anterior cruciate ligament. What do you mean? It means something cross. Oh. Okay. I want to say that's French. I think you should stop talking because you probably don't have a clue. Maybe you not. You see a lot of things and yeah, you're just winging <sighs> it. Okay. Um, G on the podcast soon. Yes, baby G has actually agreed to come on the podcast. Do you know this? No. But I said, yeah, we're going to get everything set up and then get her in. We'll do it like on a Sunday or a Monday. She'll be in. But that one will be juicy. We'll be talking about football. We'll be talking about a lot of other things. So it'll be a lot more fun. So if any of you crybabies can't handle banter, please stay away. <laughs> so rude. I'm not. You babies can't I'm handle rude. banter, please stay away. Mm. Um, what was I going to say to you about G? Oh, yeah. I feel like we're best friends because we're on Instagram, but we've never spoken. Do you think I could DM her and like reply to her stories and stuff? Or and would she what? be weird? Like... I don't know, like, look lovely or... She'd probably not get back to you, but yeah. Are you my new sister? Mm-hmm. Like, something like that, is that? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? It's funny how social media works, that like you just become instantly in with someone because your your body's in with someone. Cute. I did cute. Um, I want to talk to you about the old Botox that you're working in that head right now. Yeah. Look right down the barrel of the camera and give it a... What one? Strain. Your one. This one. I'll look over here. Red light. Strain it. Push it up as high as you can. Red, hold on. Right, look at that head. Go for it. It's almost like it's you've put the iron on it. To be honest, but it's not a crease in sight. Now this is not glamorizing Botox, but that has done you wonders, him. I love it. Some people don't, but I think it's a bit of me. And I think moving forward, when my podcast takes off and my YouTube career is flying, I'm going to look fantastic. Mm. So. What else did you get done? I was reading a report about the increase of cosmetic surgery. Like, would you ever go fillers? Would you ever do, like, the old tear troughs or lips or whatever? I'd maybe get under my eyes, but it doesn't really offend me right now. It offends me. Does that? (laughs) Mm. See, you've been knocked out. Really? No, they're not that bad. Um, But, yeah, no, I like the the old Botox, um, so I will keep that up. Don't really, yeah, nothing really else that I want to get done. I'll get my teeth fixed soon. Keep my more happy. Because um, I like to insult people, Steve. I do take quite... Yeah, no, it's, just it's, one of, it's one of my comments that I like to insult people, especially when they don't brush them. Uh-huh. There's a few people that do that. Um, but my mum is now slagging me for my own teeth, so the joke's kind of backfiring, so I'm going to sort it out. <laughs> okay, well, thanks yeah. for that. Um, not your lips or anything, no? No, I think uh, that top lip would with a little bit. G said that to me. She's like, you, she? Could you get filler in your top lip? Did she say that? Yeah. I was like, What, will you kiss me then? What? <laughs> so. Have you still got your deal? If you get a hat trick, then she's to snog you? Yeah, that still stands. Yeah. It's oh. fair. That'll be interesting. Deal's a deal. And that doesn't happen. No, no. Um, well, uh, mine's is worn off. Look at my Botox now. This is this, this is a difference, right? Look at that. You see the lines? Probably I'm crushing it down the more that I'm doing this, but like. It does. Yeah. It does weigh it when it wears off. You're like, I need to go see Dan. I need to go see Dan Cox. Yeah. 
get yep. the old needles in. So but sorry, anyway, yep. back to under the knife. I was right. reading this like cosmetic surgery story, like mm-hmm. how it's on the rise. And even though there's awful horror stories, a lot of people are flying to Turkey to get stuff done. Right. And it's resulting in, in awful, like death. People are dying. Uh huh, dying. Um, because obviously they're paying less money, but then they can get it done quicker because it's cheaper, etc. Um, and I don't judge anyone for wanting to make themselves feel a, a certain way or having whatever done. But would you ever? Would you ever like do cosmetic in your in your future? I don't think it's anything I'm really overly bothered about. I know I've got no boobies, but again, I'm not really bothered. Um, I cook up a couple of cup sizes because I'm like an A. I don't know, I must be a B. I'm not even, I don't even know what I'm. I just get a big broad <laughs> don't, back and no don't breasts. Don't flatter yourself. Uh, but maybe one day, but yeah, I'm not, not overly bothered, so it doesn't really offend me. Mm. Do you know anyone who's got, got any? Uh, yeah, but I probably can't name them. Really? Right now, yeah. What, in football? No, not in football. It is in football, isn't it's it? not in football, no. Not that I know of, no. Okay. Oh, there's Alessia. She, she says you both look great without Botox. This is not true. Alessia. I know that's, that's a lie. I appreciate your kind words, but <gasps> that is it. That's Fibs. It's Porky Pies. <gasps> what? Amanda? Why what? does Shaban look 10 years older than Richard? <laughs> Do you know, Amanda? This. Unsubscribe and take your face for a hairy one. It's true though. You can't you say do, that to no, people. You do, people always think, people don't think we're twins, people think you're older than me. I told you, you've had a tough old paper round. I'm, th- I'm older than you. I'm not only carrying you mm. and housing you, I've got two actual children Four and a half. Mm-hmm. And other things. I'm up at half two, five days a week. Yep. Half two, five days a week to get told I look 10 years older mm-hmm. than this month. Mm-hmm. Well, it's not doing wonders for you, is it? <laughs> so I'd think about a new job or something. Maybe oh, you should go under the knife. Done. I need to get my barnet sorted. This topic. Barnet sorted. I'm getting my acne sorted again. Oh, thank God. I know. Everyone's been saying. Rush. No, that's. I'll get cancelled for that. No, I'm not making fun of anyone, anyone's skin. It's not funny. My skin's been bad this week on the build up to my periods. They're finished now, but um, they're still cleaning up. But uh, you should get something done. I'm going to doctors on Monday because. Oh, does this mean you're going Rakuten? Well, and you're going to be batshit again. Well, I, I was on Rakuten. If you know, you know. If yeah. you get on Rakuten, it's like it's a uh, it can be a lot mm-hmm. kind of thing. So you actually have to get it through the hospital. You have to be on the pill for like minimum a year. Because if you were to get pregnant, it can have detrimental effects to a baby. Right. Um, so you shouldn't ever get pregnant when on Rakuten. Anyway, I got it when I was 20 or 21. Is right. that my child crown? Sh- that's yeah. one of my children. Yeah. Jamie, sort it. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> and uh, anyway, it worked, Rush. Right. It worked for 10 years. And then I had the kids and your hormones all change again. But my skin is a riot mm-hmm. sometimes. Today's a, today is a great day. Mm-hmm. Today I'm yeah. like, I'm rating myself. Sometimes I look at you and I'm like that, oofed, am I talking to the moon? <laughs> <laughs> am I talking to a pepperoni pizza? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, crater face, I used to call you that all the time, that's so nasty. That's nasty. I know, I know. You're looking for a bit of love in the comments, you're calling me crater face. I know, it's just a joke, guys. So you can handle the jokes, so can't you? You I can know. take the bants. But it hurts. Dish out. If you have acne, I deal with you because yeah. see when I get the... It's like, it's not spots, it's like welts around yeah. my chin and then up in my, oh God, that yeah. absolutely kills. But I'm seeing the doctor next week. I'm sure I'll get told to go for a walk or something. Oh, no. They'll be like, oh, um, some do, fresh you, air. do you wash your face at night? <laughs> no, if I can cover it in jobbies. <laughs> yeah, I keep it by. Like, oh, okay, um, are, you, are you stressed? Are you yeah. run down? I'll be like, yeah, I'm absolutely mm-hmm. shattered. Mm-hmm. My parents no, have got well, two I kids am, under I'm five. glad you're going to address it because I feel like you are dragging the pod down. People like me looking fresh faced and glam. <laughs> And then you beside me. So, <laughs> it's good. Um, do you want to know your star sign? His cancer? Yes. Oh, what is? Right, 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 go on. Give us a laugh. Some days like this, I wonder if you've actually got a brain. <laughs> <laughs> right. You ready? Mm-hmm. I think you like it. Nothing is impossible. Actually, it's more than a theory. It's a fundamental truth. It's impossible to achieve absolutely nothing. There always has to be something. It is, of course, true that some things are absolutely impossible. So if we accept that, we can focus on what is possible. Yes, you're dealing with challenges. I feel yeah, like I'm not finished. Certain things are difficult right now. What are you reading? Cancer. You're not reading cancer? I am. Cass, look, cancer up to there. Oh, right, okay. 
Uh, I missed the first bit. I zoned out. You can't even read the paper. You lost me. You right. lost me so the first bit. Never mind about the impossible right. stuff. It says, yes, you're dealing with challenges. Certain things are difficult right now, but instead of giving them your attention, your concentration on what you can do, those impossible issues will lose their importance. Anything you feel you can't do? No. The world's my oyster, really. Okay. If I'm being honest and I don't feel like I'm dealing with stuff, but nothing major. I'm Any in a challenges? Great place. There's always challenges in life, but nothing that's getting me down. Mm. I feel like I'm attacking this year head on and good things are coming, is what I think. How's your therapy going? Uh, good. I'm, I'm, I think I'm there tomorrow. Catch up with Carol tomorrow. So we'll have loads to talk about. I feel like I just got in and I'm having a good catch up with my aunt. What's her name again? Are you like Carol. Name? Carol. Carol. Yeah. Oh, Carol, you yeah. my heart away. He'll be floating out of Milky right, that's, Way. Right, come on. That's it. Come on. Come oh, on. Carol. Come on. Keep going. <laughs> come on. Are we losing your focus? You're losing me. You're losing what me. What do you want to talk about? You tell me. Um, what, other, what other subjects did we have to speak about? What's the Chelsea score? Oh, 2-0. Uh, I've seen that. Me uh, official. Yeah. Well, thanks be, for not updating She'll us. be a good player. You were talking. You were talking and I was struggling to do two things at once. Kankovic, so, assist. Um, good. Do you think Chelsea can win the Champions League? Aye. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. they can, yeah. Nothing's impossible. Never say never. See, are you meant to support Leon in this because you're like sister clubs? No, we're not. Yeah, yeah, babe. Oh, I thought you meant Paris. Sorry. Uh, Leon. <laughs> uh, I, they still want, I don't even know who's on it. I, on, I don't mate. know. <laughs> Is this thing on? <laughs> Uh, I, I was confused because I was thinking sister clubs and then I thought of my sister that plays for Paris. The one that looks oh like me. Oh my god, yeah. yeah. I forgot her name. Sawyer. Sawyer. Yes, let me. Yeah. Hold on, I'll get my it girl. on my phone. You two are weirdly sound. My she looks more like your twin than I do. I know. Sawyer, Paris FC. It's strange how similar. No wait, that's a man. Is her name Sawyer? Sawyer. Is it not Sawyer? Natalie Sawyer's coming up. It's not Natalie sport. Sawyer. Maybe I made that up. So like. Anyone, anyone know? <laughs> anyone know who the girl that plays for Paris' name is? I forgot her name. The one that looks at Rouge. It's absolutely weird how similar looking you are. Not lovely, like all over the world. What would you've got like a little doppelganger? Ah uh, well, it's I find it's so hard to look at comments and read and stay focused. Uh, it's Julie Sawyer. Julie, Julie Sawyer. Sawyer. Julie Sawyer. Dad was spreading so, a seed. That's it. Wonder what all he's been up to. Can we talk about spreading seeds? Can I talk about Kyle Walker? Aye. Yeah, why can't you? Like, I'm sorry, but Rashford's been hammered for going a night out in Belfast. Mm. Okay, he let the fans down. Yep. But Kyle Walker was the captain of City last week, Mm -hmm. right? Okay, yeah, he's excellent on the football pitch. But he's had now two children out of of wedlock with another woman while his wife is pregnant with a fourth. Yeah. I'd chop it off. I know. I mean, it's one. It seems to be the way the world is going. Does it? Um, yes, it does. If I find out Jamie's out there having babies willy nilly, honestly, give it five years. Can give I it do? five years. That's what it'll be Just doing. Everyone gets that. bored. They go chase other no, things. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. They do. You don't um, leave this. Mm, ten out of ten. What was it Shakira better. said? You dropped the Rolex for the Casio. Is that what she said? Mm-hmm. Fair play. She's right. Well, she's right. What do you think about Kyle Walker then? I think that he's been a naughty boy. Um, but why is he come out and done an interview with the son? That's what I don't get. Cass, why is he done that? Drink, he sat there for the good of his health, going, right. I best speak to the son, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. Because my wife will listen to me that way. Mm-hmm. Cass, we know how the tabloids work, right? They've got muck on them. I'm not saying that, but they must do something. But, something's going down. But we, yeah, I mean, the yeah. amount of stories you've heard that when something's coming out on something, it's delayed and delayed because then sit down and do a tell-all interview will detract yeah. from the other stuff. Not that's pure speculation. Right, that's pure speculation, but... I'm like, uh, you're, you're meant to be a role model. That's not role model behaviour. It's... Honestly, I think it's the way the world, the world is going. People would rather do that than actually sit down and have an honest, hard conversation hmm. with their other half and say, I'm not happy, or maybe they just want the best of both worlds. Not saying, yeah, it's hard you don't want to say all footballers are the same, but... Um, I think the lifestyle that they're in, um, it just becomes easier for them. Yeah. I don't know. Um, Alex said, if that was my husband, I'd be rinsing him in the divorce court, appalling. I thought that, I thought, right, hold on. Mm-hmm. He's just about scraped enough three million a month together to rent his apartment, right, while he's been kicked out of the house. If I'm wifey, I'd be like, take 
everything you can and you go and get something better. Uh, so nobody should be treated like that. I know. It's it's uh, yeah, look, it's their business at the end of the day. It is their business at the end of the day where you're all speculating. Um He but... said sorry, he's done it. No, I know, but we don't know the ins and outs of the, the relationship, obviously. It's not great, it's not ideal, but there's other people involved, so I love that when he was the like, kids and that are all good. I, I need to take my responsibility here, uh, my own my actions, and I was like, what was it, someone else who got someone else pregnant? Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I think he'll be... Let's be honest, probably, he's probably hurting and he's probably paying the consequences right now. Why are you being so diplomatic today? I'm not, I'm just saying. Do you know what I mean? Diplomatic Hopefully he grows up. Learns his lesson. Mm. Stops being a little sleazeball. But you're right. I mean, to be fair, two kids involved. Four kids. Six, 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 six kids yeah. involved now, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, speaking of kids, I can hear mine starting to shout. Cass, what's the story? Anything else you want to talk to me about? <clears throat> I'm trying to think. I don't know what else is going on in the world, to be honest. Um, why don't you go to the comments? Do a comment section. Yeah. yeah. Before right, you, you go for sign your, off. Do you want me to do it for you? Because you just panic uh, when you're It's really hard. hard. <laughs> it's tough. Right. Sorry if I leave you out, okay? Right. But I'm going in our comments because... She's, I mean, I'm a terrible reader, but Risha might be worse. Right. Why would you bother getting married? That's Becca. Very good point. Mm. God, your comments are flying. Uh, okay, no, this is too difficult. You are going too fast. Slow down, everyone. Can you tell my mum to let me stay off school? <laughs> no. School's overrated. Take a day off if you want it. Do you know, I've heard, I was speaking about this in work the other day. I wish I could go back to school and apologise for being a brat. No, some teachers had it in for me. I know some days when they'd say something, I thought, right, you are getting it today. And then sometimes <laughs> some of them terrible. just came at me. Some just came at me. I was like, oh. <laughs> See, when we were yeah. young, right, we started a new school. And I remember we went into, Rush, what class was it? Was it IT? Maths. No, it wasn't maths because no. we, we get put out of that class pretty instantly because they put us in the wrong yeah. one. I think they put us in the top class because we came from Notre Dame. Yeah, they're telling them. So like, I can't count. <laughs> remember we got 2% yeah. for writing our name in the day? Yeah. I did say, don't put me in that class. Anyway, then I ended up in access free <laughs> and got chucked at the class before the exam. Don't really care. Pointless. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. By the way, not everyone can can disrespect school like that. School is important, right? But on reflection, mm -hmm. I don't think I tried hard enough. I was speaking to mum about this the other day, mm -hmm. but one day we went into class, right? And we were just new at this school and I'm sure it was IT and Rusha had written... Um, like the name and her name and the date on a bit of paper right. and started writing your thing and then the woman came over and she was like what are you doing that's a man she remember and you oh, were like yeah. you were like <laughs> i just remember looking over you and cracking up you were like what mm -hmm. <laughs> she was like, that's not writing that's a man she man she's graffiti yeah Tell doesn't know and you were like, <laughs> you couldn't even get your words out. Mm. You were just like that. Whoa. <laughs> I remember that, I mean, that. I was like, that's how I write my name. That's my writing. <laughs> if you want to see my mention, I'll do you one on your wrong hand. Sit down, shut it. I loved mentioning. I would, that, like, I was good at that. I was actually good at art in school. So even now, I've sat down at the kids' table all day and I didn't mention. I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're 33 years old. I know. I know. <laughs> I've got some grown up to be doing. I can't even I honestly struggle writing so much. Are you write like a four year old? It's shocking. <laughs> you do. And it's funny because, well, it's not funny because Brooks needs to catch up with his writing at school. Yep. He has fallen behind. Mm -hmm. And I do look at him writing, I'm like, mate, I struggle too. I know. Like, I was, when mum and dad were down there, we were speaking, and I was saying like about school and stuff and how I can't concentrate. But if I don't find something interesting, I'm gone. I'm zoned out. So I do think I need to be diagnosed with something. There's just some things I shouldn't do. Well, I, I got and, diagnosed. Well, when I, I did the, the assessment uh -huh. and I was off the scale for dyslexia, like off yeah. the scale, but I always uh -huh. had a feeling, yeah. do you know what I mean? I mean, it, it's never like restricted, but actually if you've got that thing and then you get it clarified, it goes, oh, that makes sense. Yeah. But then when you were younger, there was like, now it's so much easier to get help and diagnose things mm -hmm. from a young age. Whereas then I maybe I you just might wouldn't have, have had to go to some classes that I didn't, wasted so much time sitting there, bored out my barnet. Do you know what I mean? So even sometimes when you speak, I'm like, I don't know what you're saying. It's like you can't focus. focus. Yeah, even in team meetings, I'm like, what if I say this? Can you focus now? Mm, that's and then I just turn out first. Ah, your dick's get tits. Do you know? <laughs> so, um, oh, God. anyway. Um, somebody's asked, by the way, what? Dry Jan. How's Dry Jan going? Dry Jan is great. Uh, I'm, flat, I'm <coughs> 29. I know it's the 30th, but I had um, a few casuals on the first with the family. So I'm 29 days in and I'm going strong. 
we've got a busy schedule, so I'm sticking to it. I'm going into February, mm. not breaking it. Good for you. Yeah, and I'm flying. Oh, here comes my oh, cat. Oh, there's your cat. Hi, baby. Come and see everyone. Um, <clears throat> I think uh, dry January's for mugs. I'm kidding. Uh, no, fair enough if you've done it. By the way, you're nearly at the end of it. You're so nearly there. Um, what is it, a day or something to go? How many days are in January? Um, 31. I know this. Well done. Yeah. Smashed it. Um, so not long to go. Well done if you've gone this far. I broke on 14 days and that was enough for me. I need my wine to just mellow. That's probably why I look about 15 years older than you. I'm looking forward to a nice meal and a few wines, but you dragged me down. I think life got in the way last year. There was so much going on in life. You needed a I, wine. Yeah, I needed a wine all the time. Um, and I got myself into a wee habit. A wee bad old habit, but here I am being an athlete again. Yeah. So, Are you still in the green? Have you dropped down into the yellow? I think it was actually in the yellow today. But yeah, my recovery has been great. It'll be good to see the end of month for my whoop and just see... It's mad, actually, when you look at it. But you compare December. December's a wild month because, obviously, it's break time, so you get to rip the arse out of it a bit. And then we're back on the bandwagon in Jan. So mm. it's fine. It's all good. Yeah, fair Ooh. enough. Well, I'm glad it's going well. Smells good. good. Dad's making a pie. Dad is Dad's cool. Pie. Look at Poggy. Dad don't want a new pie. That's for sure. <laughs> he probably wouldn't, actually. He probably doesn't want to touch you. So. You need to stop talking about people's pies. Sorry. Okay? Because mm. you've spoken about your cancelable behaviour. Rusha, would you ever go back and play in the SWPL? <clears throat> Someone's just asked about your opinions on the Scottish women's game too. Um, I'm not being negative. I think it's great the way it's now. There's teams that are full time and it's uh, going in the right direction. But I think it's still got a long way to go, like in terms of the level. Um, like I've said, the championship is nowhere near. If we want to look at the best leagues in the world, obviously the Barclays Super League is probably up there. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's got a long way to go in terms of being at that level. Um, I think if you're going to play the top of your WSL, plays the top of um, the Super League, yeah, I think it would be a, you know... Are you following Celtic? I could all... Uh, I keep up with some of the results. Um, it would be lovely to go and play at Paradise again one day in front of fans and stuff, but... It's probably not going to happen, so. What's your fun fact about uh, playing for Celtic at Paradise? At Parkhead? Oh, uh, I am one? the first female player to be sent off at Paradise. <laughs> so. What was it for? I hate mouthing off of the ref. Obviously, these days, that's what I was frustrated. It can happen when I'm frustrated. I just lose my marbles. So um, you can attack Simon Gill's top. I probably smells paddy from it. You're like, attack, attack. Um, <laughs> meow. Kenza? Meow. He's going to scratch your face off. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So sorry, you mouthed off at the ref. That was it. Aye, but obviously I was hot headed, angry. Probably told the ref they were absolute pish. I've not been doing that now. I don't do that. I've got a lot of time and respect, respect for the refs now. It's a tough league. It's a tough gig. <sighs> tough. Gig. And they need Being help. And they're probably not getting enough support and help. If yes. the women's game's full time, they've got to be full time too. Absolutely agree with that. Mm. I mean, that needs to be sorted. They did say last year there was like the PGM oil come out and said they're making it an environment now where women can be full time. And I was like, well, that would be decent, wouldn't it? It'd be good if they could actually be full time with their yeah. job to improve yeah. at their job. Yeah. Um, listen, the amount of people that crack up about the officiating in the Prem, it gets tougher the further down the leagues you go. Nothing because the investment is not there. Right. Um, so yeah, that's good that you've stopped mouthing off at them. Mm. Um, who does Pogby prefer? Me, I'm his mummy. Um, actually, I've been reading a lot about cats on Instagram. Well, when I say reading, I've been looking at TikToks. Russia, sorry, Russia tries to listen instead. No, no, she because is terrible. first time I took it, I was playing in Norway. Um, this was I was maybe twenty four, so I went to Norway, and obviously there it was a Scandinavian thing. So that was already that's normal there. Do you know what I mean? So we're having a bonding night with the team, uh, and I'd had a few drinks, and one of the girls went, "Do you want a snus?" They went, "It's strong though, so just keep it in for like a minute." I was like, so it goes into your cool. gum. Your gum. I just put it up here. Um, so up it went. Had it in a like couple of minutes, put and I was place. like, that. <laughs> my head was spinning, and I was like, oh no, don't feel well. Disabled toilet off a pop. I literally closed the disabled <laughs> toilet door, and I was like, where's this coming from? Sat down on the toilet, my arse exploded, and as that happened, I projectile vomited. <sighs> yes, all over the disabled toilet, and I was like, oh my god, but I felt great after that but I was like I need to go to bed <laughs> so I had to clean the disabled toilet God. these Norwegians are probably thinking 
this idiot. Yeah, because um, they're but, beautiful and you're yeah, like, you I know. Shutting your pants I all the time. I did great time in Norway. Um, all, I should have went back. Should have went back to Bergen. Should have went back to San Viking. Great place, great people. Um, a lot of time for them. But I said, I went on old snooze when I came back from there. But I used to take it at night time before I went to sleep. Just kind of made you a bit like, mm, sleepy. That's stupid. Now Why I hate it. I was years ago. No, I was mad here now. It's rife here. Um, but I don't touch it now. It's not for me. Yeah. No, I don't like the sound of that. I remember Jamie was in uh, Marbella a couple of summers ago. And, you know, Needles? Yeah. Was it Needles took it? No, no Hazy. It was somebody else. Hazy mm. took it and, like, Hazy puff passed out and yeah. all it's that. It's not that. No, it's just because you're drinking, you mix it and you're not used to it. That's it. It's not that bad. Why it's not a drug. That? It's just nicotine. It's fine. Or tobacco, whatever's it makes in it. Makes me feel worried. You're a gimp. You've done <laughs> nothing in your life, honestly. Do you, do you imagine, though, if, if I took snus? I'd probably I, you'd be I'd die. lifted to hospital because <laughs> you're an absolute. I'll mm-hmm. stick with the rosy mm-hmm. wine. Thanks. Right, is um, it my dinner time? Yeah, it's just about your dinner time. Uh, thank you very much. Oh, look, there's your mum again. I love it. There's someone, got, someone in the comments called your mum. Oh. Um, I vomed when I had snooze too. Don't snooze. worry. No, I think it's... A, apparently, um, was it Terry Henry recently about spoke it being a bit of a epidemic in football? Anyway. <laughs> I thought I was dying the whole room spinning. Very dramatic. Thanks for the video from her sports band. I have to say that Rusha is the better looking twin. And um, watching AFCON Senegal have been eliminated. Interesting. Oh, oh. Uh, what's for dinner? Chicken pie. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Anything you'd like to add before you go? A couple of people saying they're in New York. Oh, hey, cool. New York. Hi. Hook us up if you're there. Yeah, definitely. It'd be nice to visit again. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, no, thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for the love, support. Um, to use it to watch and don't get offended yes I sometimes make jokes but that's me I like to make jokes I've got banter I'd love you to come in the changing room because some people wouldn't last a minute the stuff that goes on the changing room is bants oh we need to get, oh, a, we need to get a live stream in a changing room one day shits and giggles we can't because we get cancelled and nobody would have jobs because of the crybabies out there in the world today right, okay. but um, no for everyone that is nice likes watching us thanks for the love thanks for the support um, have a great week people and hopefully we'll see you next week yeah hopefully we will see you next week um, Nathaniel I'm looking at you hopefully we're going to see you next week too. Mm-hmm. Um, and please like please subscribe get the comments thank you so much for your interaction thank you for watching the Rush and Shaban show we're going to try and get it up in podcast form for you later on in the week and that'll be available wherever you get your podcasts oh, I've said that before mm. link in bio thanks Ruth bye bye